Hi students. In this video, we will be reviewing the vocabulary words for the informational text, Technology Wins the Game. Remember that to support your learning, you have this video, you have the Spelling City activities, and you also have the practice activity that we did in the class notebook, uh, notebook on Teams, okay? Our first vocabulary word is contribute. To contribute means to help bring about a result. The example sentence is, all members of a team contribute to the team's success by doing their job. If we look at this image and we think about what we talked about in class, we know that if one person does not contribute to the rowing, the team is not gonna go as fast as they can. They all need to contribute in order to be the best they can be as a team. Now let's think about it for a second. Think about different teams that you have been on. Why is it important that all members of a team contribute to its success? What happens if we don't? What happens if one person is not contributing? Will the team be their best? Hmm. You can stop the video, think about it, and then come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is athletes. Athletes are people who play one or more sports. The example sentence is athletes train hard to be the best they can be at their game. Now remember what we talked about? Can anybody be an athlete? And now let's think about it. Can people learn to be better athletes? What are some things athletes should and should not do? For this question, you can go to the class notebook activity that we did together and look at the answers that you um, wrote down. You can also think of some new answers. There's many different answers to this question. So pause the video, think about it, look through your activity, and then come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is improve. To improve is to get better at something. The example sentence is, coaching helps tennis players improve or get better. Now let's think about it. What can you do to improve your skill at your favorite sport or activity? Now, we talked about a very, very important part that you, a very important thing that you can do in class together. But I wanna see if you can come up with some other answers as well. Pause the video, talk it through, think about it, and come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is power. Power is another word for strength. An example sentence is, this player uses only his power or strength to hit the ball out of the park. Now let's think about it. Do you have the muscle power to do 10 push-ups? What about 20 or 30? Our next vocabulary word is process. A process is a series of steps for producing something. And the example sentence is workers follow many steps during the process of making a bicycle. Now, we talked about the importance of following the order of the steps, right? What would happen if this lady decided to switch up the process, um, the steps of the process? Would we get a bicycle? Maybe. We'll see. Now let's think about it. I want you to think about your favorite sport or activity, and I want you to describe parts of the process it takes to be able to play, whether it be at a practice, for fun, or at a game. Pause this video, think it through, and then come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is flexible. If something is flexible, it is able to bend or be twisted. Now the example sentence is, to move her leg up so high, the gymnast must keep her body flexible. Now let's think about it. Have you ever done an activity that requires your body to be flexible? What are some of these activities? Pause the video, think about it, and then come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is fraction. A fraction is a small part of a whole. The example sentence is, this player slides onto the base. He is safe by just a fraction of an inch. Now let's think about it. How do you feel if you play only a small fraction of a game? If you only play a small part of the game, if you don't get to play the whole time? Now I want us to look at this pizza, okay? The whole circle is one pizza. But here in this image, we see that it has been cut into seven different pieces. 
each piece of this pizza is a fraction. How much of this pizza do you think you can eat? Can you eat the whole pizza? Can you eat three fractions of the pizza or three slices of a pizza? Can you eat four? Mmm. Think about it. Pause the video, talk it through, and then come back when you're ready. Our next vocabulary word is compete. To compete means to take part in a contest. And the example sentence is, two players compete against each other to win the game. Now let's think about it. When was the last time you took part in a sport or game when one team faced off against the other? A good example of this is Brother Week, when we played in our houses. How did it feel to compete in your house? Was it fun? Now, some people don't like to compete, so it might have not been fun for you, and that is okay. 